In this video you will learn which regulatory compliance question on structure, policies and procedures can help you self-assess your firm's financial crime systems and controls. So let's get right into today's video. Hi and welcome to FinCrime Agent. This is my YouTube channel where I'm talking about financial crime prevention and anti-money laundering related topics. This video is part of a short tutorial series that I have created on regulatory compliance with insights from the FCA handbook. The aim of these tutorials is to support professionals working in the financial crime prevention with the assessment of key areas within systems and controls. Today I'm covering structure, policies and procedures, so let's bring up some slides to discover what kind of questions can help you understand if your firm is in line with regulatory compliance requirements. Structure. The firm's structure that should be in place in order to fight financial crime can vary according to a number of factors, including its size. In some cases, there will be a specific unit to support the work and coordinate the action to comply with regulatory compliance related regulations and prevent financial crime activities by reporting to the head of risk, head of compliance or to the company CEO. In other cases, the structure could be more spread across the firm. However, the important aspect here is that the structure in place must be able to support information sharing and a coordinated approach. Some questions to self-assess if your firm is in line with regulatory compliance requirement in relation to financial crime structure could be is there an individual in the organization ultimately responsible for all financial crime risk exposure and prevention activities, including anti-money laundering, fraud, data security, counter-terrorist financing, anti-bribery and corruption, and sanctions? Are the staff in place sufficiently qualified for their roles? Are escalation processes clear enough? For smaller firms where there are not dedicated financial crime staff, is there any conflict of interest by those staff? Policies and procedures Effective financial crime related policies and procedures must be in place and regularly updated. Those are expected to be easily accessible and understood by staff including those that are not operating in regulatory compliance roles. Some questions to self-assess if your firm is in line with the regulatory compliance requirements on financial crime policies and procedures could be how regularly do you review your financial crime policies and procedures? Are the exposure to financial crime risks effectively mitigated? Are policies and procedures in line with the risks or changes from geopolitical events? Can you provide evidence that staff is fully aware of the latest policies and procedures? And this is the end of my regulatory compliance video on structure, policies and procedures. If this tutorial was useful to you, support my channel by subscribing to FinCrime Agent. In the description of the video you will find the other links for the free parts also recorded on regulatory compliance systems and controls. So that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed and thank you for watching. Until next time, see you soon.